Hi, it's Barb, Mabel PhD, and today I am starting the Alphabet Challenge. This is a challenge that's been going around some of the board game content creator community. I was tagged by Frenchie from Frenchie Plays Games. Um, thanks for the tag. I've got his channel linked in the description below. Be sure to go check out his channel and see some of the cool things he's got coming out. Um, the challenge was started by Rolling Reggie, and I've seen it on um, Blackboard Gaming, and I've also seen it on um, Box Meeples, so go check out their channels as well. Uh, and let's just get going. Let's look at the alphabet and figure out my favorite games. So starting at the beginning, A. My favorite A game shouldn't come as a big surprise to, some, to if you've been following my channel at all. I love zoo themed games. It, this was one of my top plays of 2022. Uh, it, it's Ark Nova. This is, this is an amazing zoo themed game, especially for gamers. It's heavier than the usual family weight zoo game. And you are building up this zoo in front of you, but also um, concentrating on conservation efforts, which kind of mirrors what modern zoos are doing today. And I just love what this does with the theme and the gameplay itself is also just amazing. So that is my favorite A game, Ark Nova. So my favorite B game, this is kind of thematic as an astronomer, is Beyond the Sun. This is a, a tech tree building game. It's not super pretty sometimes. It kind of looks like Spreadsheet the board game. But with your competitors, you are building up this tech tree, unlocking different technologies that you can use to go explore different planets and then colonize them um, and unlock some of the things on your board to give you more production when you take a production action. Um, I just find it a lot of fun. I love building out that tech tree. I love looking at the different planets that you can colonize and, and visit. Um, a lot of them are real ones. So as an astronomer, that kind of you know tickles my fancy. Um, but this one is my favorite B game, Beyond the Sun. My favorite C game is Clank, any version of it. I love base Clank, I love Clank Legacy, I love the newest Clank Catacombs, um, any version of Clank I love. I am a big fan of deck builders and I like what this adds to it with the board and the dungeon crawl feel to it. Um, in this game, you have a cruddy deck at the beginning and you are adding things to it in order to move around a board, looking for an artifact and then get yourself out of there as fast as possible while making the most points and sadly making as much noise uh, <laughs> as possible apparently because every single thing seems to make clank in this dungeon. Um, but I love this game. It's a super fun press your luck game. Um, so that is my favorite C game, Clank. My favorite D game is my favorite game of all time. I remember looking at it on the shelf at the game store for years and I finally picked it up. Um, this is Dungeon Pets. This is a worker placement game. It's a fairly heavy one for the, the cute theme where you are a family of imps who is building up a pet shop and you're competing with the other imp families in town who are also building pet shops. Um, but as you're doing this, the pets have various needs that they are, um, exhibiting and you need to be able to fulfill them or at least mitigate them. So if one gets angry, you need a cage that's uh, beefy enough to hold them or if they're having magical outbursts, you need protection against that. Uh, and I just, every time I play this game, I love all the different pets. I, I love the theme of this game. The gameplay is, is great. I've added the expansion and that one's usually a must play for me. I like the additional worker placement spots that it adds to the game. So that is my favorite D game and my favorite game of all time, uh, Dungeon Pets. My favorite E game goes along with my animal theme uh, games, and that would be Endangered. This one is a cooperative game where you are using a dice worker placement in order to um, try and save a different endangered species uh, with each game. There are several different species that you can work on, um, and you can play several different characters in the game that have different special abilities. Uh, and I just really like, I love the theme of this game. Again, I love animal themes. I love the idea of you know concentrating on that conservation and, and being kind to the, the, the nature around us. Um, 
But I also just love the gameplay of this one, not just the messaging, but the gameplay, because it could all be message and then I wouldn't enjoy it. But in this one, I really enjoy Endangered. That is my favorite e-game. My favorite F game is a fairly new one that just in came into my house last year, and it's on my shelf right here. It's Flamecraft. I was totally drawn in by the art of this game, I will be honest. Um, but I also really enjoy the gameplay. This is a game where it's worker placement or worker movement, you only have one worker. Um, you never block someone from going to a spot that you wanna go to, um, but you do have to pay them a good if someone is, is where you wanna go. And every action of the turn kind of makes the town better. Uh, if I go visit a spot, I can collect goods and then I add a dragon there. Um, and then when I fire that dragon, you know, I get a, an ability. But that dragon adds another resource that when another person comes and visits there and gathers, they're gonna get another resource. Or the other main action in the game is um, enchanting. And this is another way that you're adding more resources to that shop. And so when people go there, they get better and better things. And so I just love, I love the art. I love the gameplay. I love how sweet the game is. And yet it feels, you know, tight. You are, you know, exchanging materials. You, you're watching the clock. These dragons are disappearing. And as the decks go away, you know, the game's going to end soon. And you're just trying to maximize what you can do with everything that you're getting every turn. So that is my favorite F game, Flamecraft. My favorite G game is one that I also got off of Kickstarter a few years ago, um, and it is the Grand Carnival. This is a game where you are building up a carnival in front of you and then putting attractions in there and trying to move uh, people through there in order to, so that they can see the attractions. And then if you can get a certain number of them up through the end of the big top, you get some additional points. One of the things I love about this game is it's like a dual building structure where you, you get this blank board and then you first have to put foundation tiles on there which show um, green spaces where your patrons can walk but also additional construction spaces. And as you're building that, you need to pay attention to what other rides are available and the thing, the polyomino pieces that you're going to place on top of that to represent the rides. Uh, and so you've got this kind of two levels of thinking as you're you know building up your your um, carnival in front of you. And I really like the way you select actions and the, you know, you, you get a one to five each turn, each round, and then, you know, you get to decide when am I going to spend my five action? When am I going to spend my one action? Or maybe I don't have the, the four action left and it's only the five, but I'm going to waste it a little bit. Um, so it's got some really great decisions. I, I love this game. That is my favorite G game, the Grand Carnival. That brings us to H, my favorite H game. Continuing with the nature theme, this one is Habitats. This is a game where you are building up a nature reserve in front of yourself, trying to satisfy the different needs of the animals that you're placing in there. And you're doing that by, um, they, they each have different habitat needs that they would like to have surrounding their tile. And so you have to be careful how you're placing the different animals in order to make sure that you are making as many of them ha as happy as possible. I also really like the drafting mechanic in this game where you have this grid of tiles and you move your uh, little worker around there and you only have certain directions you can go and you're never quite sure when someone's going to take the tile that you want. Maybe I'll get the three turns to get the one that I really, really need or maybe my opponent's going to take that from me. Um, but it's always fun to play. It's <laughs> You get those animals that you're just so happy when you finally get them satisfied or just terribly disappointed when you realize that you have messed up making that hippopotamus happy. But that's my favorite uh, H game, uh, Habitats. My favorite I game is Imperial Settlers Empires of the North, which almost feels like a cheat because we always call this Empires of the North, but on BGG it's Imperial Settlers Empires of the North, so I'm counting it here. Uh, this is a little civilization building game where you have a deck of cards and each round you're trying to place them out into your tableau but when you play them out they also often create new actions that you can take um, every round and so you're trying to figure out how to chain together the biggest actions that you can 
And the first round is usually pretty short. You're able to play one or two cards out. And by the end, you're agonizing over trying to figure out how to best use the workers that you have and the resources that you've collected to collect the right resources to make you know your cards uh, useful and get as many points as possible. Uh, I just I just love how this one builds up throughout the game. And that's Imperial Settlers Empires of the North, my favorite I game. My favorite J game is a dexterity game, um, not the one you're thinking of, but it's called Junk Art. This is one where there, there feels like there's more of a game around it than just building things up. So um, you at the beginning of the game, you deal out a, a few different scenarios and each round you play through one of them. And sometimes you want the tallest structure. Sometimes you're building with your competitors. Everyone's building on the same structure or, or you can be building on your own structure. There are some where even you move around the table. So you're building on one structure and then you go build on someone else's structure and then you build on another structure. And that just adds so much variety to this game along with the crazy shaped pieces um, that are never quite what you need when you need them. Uh, that is why I love Junk Art, my favorite J game. My favorite K game is one where you are trekking through the jungle looking for treasures, and that would be Karuba. I love this one. Um, it's super short, it's family weight. It's a kind of bingo-esque game where you have this board in front of you. Everyone has an identical board. You place out um, an adventurer on the shore and a temple in the jungle. And then the pieces that you're gonna play on the board are tiles that have paths on them. Uh, and so one person will call it a number of a tile. Everybody places the same tile. Uh, if you don't wanna place the tile, you can discard it to move one of your um, adventurers, uh, and the goal is to get your adventurers to their matching colored temples in the jungle. And I love this game. It's super fast. It's a puzzly game. I love puzzles. I love trying to figure out the right path for each, each of those adventurers as they're going through. We actually played this during the pandemic. We made little care packages for some of our friends with the pieces and dropped them off. And then we would play this over Zoom. And so this has some great memories for how we connected with people when we were all on lockdown. So it has a special place in my heart for that reason as well. That's my favorite K game, Karuba. My favorite L game is gonna sound a little bit similar to my favorite K game. It's got a same theme of adventurers going in search of treasure. This time it is Lost Runes of Arnak, which is much heavier than Karuba. This is a kind of deck building game where you're using cards in your deck in order to put out adventurers and, and get resources or visit new sites or overcome guardians that are on, on the board. Um, you can also use the resources that you collect to move up this research track. And this is another game where you're chaining things together and you start the game with a very short round. Usually you're playing a couple of turns and then you have to pass. And by the end of the game, you are trying to, you know, eke as many actions as you can out of each round. And you've maybe figured out how to draw more cards in a round or um, get more resources and move up that resource track, which then gives you some other bonuses. And I just love how this game builds. I love the theme of it. The art is amazing. So that's my favorite L game, The Lost Runes of Arnak. So my favorite M game is another, it's not quite a deck builder, it's actually a card crafting game where you have a single deck of cards, you're not getting additional cards, but you're making those cards better and better as the game goes on. That would be a Mystic Veil. This is a game where the theme is kind of there, it's a magical land that's been cursed and you're trying to revitalize it, whatever. You have this deck of cards and you're adding different advancements to them, um, they're, they're clear cards. And so, you know, whichever advancements show through, you get to activate those on each turn for better or worse. Uh, and I, again, this is one where the arc is just amazing. You know, it starts out really slow. You can't do much. You've got a really cruddy deck. And as you go, you start building up a few cards that just are amazing. And you have these turns where you're chaining so many things together. And, and then the next turn is maybe a dud turn again, but it, you're living for those turns where you just get all of the things that you want to do. And so that's my favorite M game, Mystic Veil. 
So that's it for the first half of the alphabet. Um, I will release a second video going through N, N through Z. Um, so be, be sure to keep an eye out for that. Uh, I want to thank Frenchie again for tagging me in this. This has been super fun. I am terrible at tagging people in things. So if you are a content creator and you're watching this and you think, hey, this sounds like fun, consider yourself tagged and tag me back so that I can be sure to not miss your video. I'd love to see everyone else's picks and see, do we overlap anywhere? Uh, or feel free to leave in the comments below some of the games that, that are your favorites from the, the first half of the alphabet. Would we have had any crossovers? I'd love to hear about those. Um, otherwise, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel so you know when my next videos come out. You can look for me on the internet as MeeplePhD on Instagram and Twitter, and I've got a blog at MeeplePhD.com. letter of the alphabet. And kittens who are very naughty.